In this tutorial, we'll create a Bootstrap 5 transparent nav bar that will become a solid color when you scroll down. Okay, so I have created a simple project here. There's quite a bit of HTML with the nav bar involved, so I don't recommend coding that from scratch. I would just go to the documentation and copy one of their examples and then modifying it to get exactly what you want. So I have a background image here. The background image has been taken out of the normal flow, right? Position absolute, so it's not taking up any space. Um, Right, so it's really important that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals like CSS and JavaScript as a Bootstrap developer. So I have courses on them. If you want to take them to a professional advanced level, check out my uh, courses on them. The links are in the description. Um, but what we want is that when we scroll down, we get this. And also when we scroll up again, that, it, that the background gets removed. So first of all, how do we even get it to scroll with us? Well, the nav bar here, if we just add a utility class from Bootstrap, fixed top, if we do this, it will scroll with us, right? So that's step one. And now what we want is to get that background color. So we're actually gonna create a class for that. So we're gonna add a class once the user has started scrolling. And this is the class that we're gonna add to that nav bar. We can call it nav bar scroll. So we're gonna say background color. I'm just using black here. You can use any color you want. Now what can also look good sometimes is if you have a bit of a box shadow. So maybe you can see it a little bit better here on the white. So there's a very subtle box shadow as well. So I will also add that. So it's just going to be zero, three pixels, uh, vertical offset, 10 pixel blur. And then the color will be black with 15% opacity. So this class right now, um, we can add it so we can see if that works. Scrolled. So now I've added this to the nav bar and indeed we do see it, right? But we only want to add this once the user has started scrolling. So we need to we need we need to use a little bit of JavaScript here. So again, make sure you know JavaScript, make sure you know CSS, so you know understand how all of this works also because we're going to use a transition here. So make sure you understand animations and transitions in CSS. Definitely check out those links in the, in the description. But what you can do is at the end of the body here, for example, you can also create a whole new JavaScript file. It's also possible, but I don't want to make it too compl too complicated here. I'm just going to add a script here to the bottom, and um, to to deal to manipulate this this element here, we need to select it first. So we can say const nav, and I like to append L to indicate that we're working with an HTML element. And then I can select it with document query selector. I want to select the element with a class of nav bar, right? So then we're selecting this element, right? Let me collapse this because there's quite a bit of HTML. I'm selecting this element here and I'm storing it in this variable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to listen for the scroll event. So there is a window object and we can listen for for several events and the, the event that we're interested in here is the scroll event right so when the user has started scrolling and when that has occurred we can fire a function right so you could use the old school function syntax or the modern arrow function syntax i'll use the modern uh, syntax right so again make sure you 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 have mastered javascript itself so what we can do then is um, this event will fire as soon as you scroll even a little bit Right? But we don't want to add this nav bar when it has scrolled a little bit, right? only when it has scrolled a little bit more, like the, the height of itself actually. And the height of this nav bar by default is, is, is 56 pixels. So we want to add, we want to add that class when the user has scrolled down by 56 pixels. So what you can do is you can say if window.scrolly is more than 56, Right, this is what you can use to check for that. So this event will fire, you know, for every little pixel that you scroll, right? We, we don't want to do anything for every little pixel. Only, right, so we have another check here. If the window has, of, if the window that scroll Y property is at least 56 pixels or equal to 56 pixels, we're going to use that nav element. We're going to say class list. We can remove classes, but here we want to add a class. And the class that we want to add, what do we call it? Nav bar scrolled. Right, so this is the class that we're gonna add. So now if I save here and go back, now when I scroll down, you can see it gets added, right? Let me refresh here. So when I scroll a little bit, it doesn't get added, but if I scroll enough, it gets added, right? But it's not smooth because it just, you know, there's no transition here, it just immediately gets added. So now we're gonna work with CSS transitions. So what you can say, because what this what this will do is it will apply these declarations to that nav bar, right? So it's gonna change the background color and the box shadow properties. And what you can do is you can make that a transition. So you can select the nav bar and you can say transition. For all properties that get changed, it shouldn't happen instantly, it should, it should happen in 0 0.5 seconds, right? So now when you do that, any change, 
um, will happen in 0 0.5 seconds, right? So that's much smoother. And also now we have to work on um, if the user scrolls up again, right? So if I scroll up here, it should be removed again. So how do we do that? Well, scrolling up is also, um, well, an, a scroll event, right? So we can still work in here. This function will still get fired if we scroll up. So here we do something when the scroll, when the user has scrolled past 56 pixels, we can also check if the user has scrolled uh, some, somewhere be before 56 pixels. So if scroll Y is less than 56, then we can say navl.classlist.remove, right? We can remove it, right? I'm not using I'm not using less than or equal because the equal case is already handled here, right? So I don't want to have any overlap, right? So now it should be removed. So let's check it out. So now let me actually refresh, right? I'm scrolling down, it gets added. Now I scroll up, it gets removed. Very smooth, right? All right. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.